Okay guys, today doing something different. We're out of a poor pierce in about 400 feet of water and we're chasing some dolphins. So we're gonna see what we can get out here. We're using a little different tactic. I'll show you what we're using and how we're using them and how we're gonna be catching these fish. So beautiful day. We got to about one o'clock. We gotta head in because the thunderstorms are coming. So I'm gonna go give you a hint what kind of bait I'm throwing. Crazy dolphin bait. here fishing for dolphin a little untraditional way there's not a big weed line out here so what we're doing is we're finding patches of weeds especially big patches you know the size of a house hopefully and we're casting uh, lures at them and uh, that's our game plan now the lures we're throwing is actually the same thing I like to throw at tarpon everyone thinks you're catching my you need big baits you know elephants eat peanuts and if you look in these weed patches, a lot of the baits are this size. A DOA terrorizer is my go-to bait. Uzuri 3D lure works great also. I'm uh, using the uh, Flash Minnow. My um, Gulfstream lures, all of them, we've, we've caught them on there. And the way that I bring these fish in is when I get to a spot, see if they're there to make some racket. And uh, I throw a DOA terrorizer on a rattle float. Deadly combo. Um, that uh, that's what DOA calls them. Throw it out there. I snap it, snap it, snap it really fast. If there's dolphin underneath those weeds, they're gonna come out and check it out, and that saves us a lot of time. It doesn't take long. You see the dolphin. Once the dolphin come out, we start pitching the small baits, and then we also we have a few live baits too. If they're really big, because sometimes the rudder banded rudder fish are like all over the small baits. We'll pass, we'll throw out a, uh, a big soft bait, and uh, and we'll get dolphin on that too. So, cool way to fish. Guys, if you haven't done it, don't think you're gonna throw big lures. I think where a lot of people make a lot of mistakes is they're throwing huge lures at these dolphins, thinking you gotta throw a big chunk, big huge ballyhoo or something at them. Most of them are eating really small baits. So next time you're out there and you're on a bunch of uh, mahi dolphin and you can't get them to hit, downsize. You know, 40 pound test leader, a little terrorizer, and look out. Okay, this is what I'm throwing to attract the dolphin around the weeds. Deadly combo. I got about three foot a liter DOA terrorizer. Now I'm taking this outfit, throwing it out, and unlike working it like I would inshore, you know, crick it, let it sit, I'm just click, 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 and really ripping it back to the boat. And if there's dolphin around, they love commotion. And hearing that, they're all over it. I mean, they are all over it, so. Okay, hold on. I'm going out there too, buddy. Oh yeah, he's all over it. He's all over that light beat. Come on. Okay. Woo! 
Yeah, when you get a pulse rim like that around the boat, throw a light bait out. And... Well, had a good day overall. We got in right before the storms and uh, rained like crazy all on the way back. And once we got the boat on the trailer, so we never got wet. But uh, we ended up catching like 20 dolphin. We kept a few for dinner. There you go. Stick them up, Danny. Hold them out. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, we kept we kept we kept a few for dinner. We turned the rest loose. You know, and um, good day, good day. Um, dolphin, banded rudder fish. Like I say, we're using basically the same tackle I use inshore. And you don't have to throw big baits at these dolphins many times. That is the key to it, is matching the hatch, matching what is in the weed line. So that's kind of like what we did. We had a great day, and uh, that's dolphin fishing. Beats good eating tonight. Yes. All right. Till next time, man. This is Pete Hink. And always, you know, please subscribe to my channel. Go right down there and hit that little subscribe button. I'll have more, uh, you know, mostly kayak and uh, some paddleboard. And mostly paddleboard with some kayak stuff. And a few, you know, every once in a while some boating stuff too. So, um, till, till next week. We'll see you.